Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Uh, welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator, and uh, we're just gonna get started on our contracts here. <laughs> I think everything, yeah, everything is fixed from the last episode, but we're gonna do, um, let's see here, which one? I think it was this one that we were, that I said we were gonna do. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's start out. I'm gonna put myself and the new mower, the the Skag Patriot. I used to. <laughs> I had a friend when I was a kid, and his nickname was Skag. And I have abs to this day. I have no clue what his real name was. I have to ask my cousin. She might. She might know, but um, yeah, <laughs> I think that's what they called him. I'm pretty sure it was Skag. I have no idea why they called him that. Um, all right, so, all right, so let's go ahead and start. And I've changed some of the graphical options to try to not get any of the stuttering that we were having before. Um, it still kind of looks like it's stuttering while I'm recording, and I'm not sure exactly why because originally i was having no issues with it whatsoever um just kind of really weird there okay so let's get started anyway um i am going to it seems like it's fairly smooth oddly i'm only getting th about 30 let's see 52 frames a second if i look over here i'm getting 34 35 frames a second not really the performance i was expecting especially considering my uh, my gaming rig however you know i was going back and looking at the um you know the, the video card performance and it's basically using 100 percent gpu so <laughs> I would, I mean, the game's really pretty, but I kind of thought it would be a little bit more optimized than that, so. Yeah, like right now, I'm only getting like 33, 34 frames a second. Um, I do have everything pretty maxed out, though. But, um, I don't know, it's just really weird that I wasn't noticing the performance before and now it's like you know i can't not see it but you guys probably won't even see it at all because the um there we go jeez because of the way um i i render the videos oh look at that up there it's like a rock wall now um one of the things I was talking about in a previous episode is sometimes you're going to you're going to see areas that have multiple mowing locations like like this is one job the little gnome garden there is another job and actually if you look back there where the building in the you know kind of on the other side of that brown fence there that's actually like a another house and a job there so I think what this is, I think this is the garage. So, you know, the rich guy keeps all his cars over here. And then there's kind of like this garage door here that would open. And, you know, I'm sure at a later date, we're going to have a job for that area. So anyway, pretty cool. All right, let's get started. And then, let's see, the cut height range is six, I'm sorry, five to six centimeters. So let's throttle up. We're going to go down here. And I'm going to reduce. Was it, it was five to six, right? Yeah. So we'll just, we'll just put it on five centimeters. Just go ahead and get started here.
what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna square off this part of the yard here, so I'm just gonna hello. And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and do the same thing over on the other side. Like this. We get that purr sound. Okay. Actually, if I lifted the deck up slightly, we probably wouldn't get. We probably wouldn't get that as often. I think we're going to have kind of the same thing at this end of the the lawn as well. Yeah. So let's kind of go up here. And I'm just going to go straight across the, the yard or the lawn, whatever. Whatever, guys. Whatever, you guys. <laughs> whatever it's called. We had a rose bush in our yard. And it was kind of, I think it was on the corner of the house, but it was really big and overgrown, kind of like this. And I would have to mow around it with the riding mower. And uh, I would always forget, like I would always be just mowing and I'm like, I think I'll get in close to it and, uh, and just mow, you know, I'll be all right. <laughs> that thing would like, tear me to pieces eh, it wasn't really that bad I don't guess but you know he'd like grab on your shirt uh. I did this I think I did this lawn previously with the uh, the night track the night mower the one I started off with and yeah it was not it was not so fun
So I'm going to kind of do the same thing here. I'm just going to go kind of going to line up up to the other end. And we're already about a quarter of the way done. little bit of a there we go missed that cut there um, yeah we're gonna have to cut here We kind of already have all this trim done. And uh, we're only 30%, 31% uh, done with the whole lawn. So this is a pretty big, uh, this is a pretty big area here. We're eight minutes in. So we're one third the way finished and we're nine minutes in. So 9, 18, 27, that should take us roughly 27 minutes to, to finish this. Now, we're probably not going to have to slow down quite as much. Right, you know, well, at least right now. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll clock in under 20 minutes for all I know. So I'm basically trying to keep that right little round, you know, the, the, the brace or bracket there on the front right, right down there. Where I, oh, I guess it's like the, the swivel for the caster there. So I'm basically just trying to keep that on the outside of the uh, grass edge. Similarly, going this way, I'm just trying to keep that brake pedal um, just on the outside of the grass edge. That, that way I, I know I'm getting enough overlap and I'm not going to have um, any lines of missed grass, hopefully. Okay, so now we've got this tree here. Whoa, what the heck is going on? I was just roll. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was really weird. <clears throat> I guess because of the slope, this tractor's kind of having some issues negotiating it. And then coming down, you know, like going up one side, I have to apply throttle. And as soon as I'm over the top, man, it goes into like super turbo boost here. All right. The 
go around this tree. Go around it twice. Just that's just as that's just going to give me a little bit more uh, room, a little bit more wiggle room to get around. <clears throat> See now we have plenty of room there. Come back down on this side. We're going to kind of have to do the same thing right here. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and let's see, let's go. I'll go down <clears throat> go down this way. Remember once when I was a kid and I ran over a snake. Actually, there's probably a few times I've d I'd done that. Usually, like little garter snakes, and you know, you just hear a little in the in the mower, and they're you know, because they get they'll get sucked up into the blades just by the pressure of the the air, you know, the airflow there. And um, yeah, that's always sad. But not much you can do about it, other than try to keep your, you know, just try to pay attention as best you can. I remember one time I almost ran over a, a, a black snake, which are, black snakes are pretty big. They can get, um, no, it's not a black mamba or anything like that. They're just like a, a snake here in the, you know, Ohio area. And they're not, um, you know, they're not poisonous, I don't think. Like, they might be mildly poisonous, but, like, if you were to get bit by one, you know, I don't think you're going to get sick or anything like that. Um, so, generally, they're pretty much harmless. You can go right up and pick them up. Um, but I remember seeing that you know, right, you know, stopping just in time. And that thing must have been five feet long. I don't know. It, it seemed like it was five or six feet long. And I'm pretty sure they can get that big. They're not big around, they're just long.
Yeah, like I'm holding the throttle steady, and as I go up the hill, it's really cutting down on the, you know, the speed. And also, it's kind of, you know, I, I'm having to compensate the steering as well. Just, I mean, you would have to do that in the real world, you know, on a real mower. Behind my dad's house, where I used to, you know, I used to mow for my dad before he passed away. And, um, like, behind his house, there, you know, there's kind of an area that's steep. And you, you have to kind of sit on the tractor, you know, a certain way, you know, to help to, to, to distribute your weight properly um, to keep the tractor from really tipping over. And, um, and I, I mowed it like that all the time, but you do have to, you, you do have to turn the wheels in, um, or, or, you know, turn them up, uphill, you know, to keep the, the tractor in line. All right. So what I'm going to do here, um, let's, what the heck? Ah, oh, that's why it was doing that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, eh. Is I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut around this. Eh. And I'm just going to go straight out to here. Oh, I figured out what the, uh, on the Toro tractors, the recycler, um, basically the recycler is just a, a Toro buzzword for a mulcher. It's, it's kind of a newer technology that apparently, I guess, Toro has developed uh, in order to keep the, the blades of grass recirculating or recycling um, through the, uh, or in the, the blade shroud or whatever you want to call it, the blade box. Um, and the reason why they do that is they want to, they want to help chop up all of the excess grass blades to be as small as possible so that they actually mulch better and, and can provide more nutrients back into the soil. I, I knew it probably had something to do with that. It's just I wasn't, you know, 100% sure. Okay. All right. Uh-oh, we're almost at 21 minutes. Uh-oh. So we're, de <laughs> we're definitely not coming in under 20 minutes on this. Uh-oh. Got to cut that. Okay. Gosh, this tractor's so fast. Oh. 
Well, we're at 90%, well, you know, practically. We'll be in just a second. There, we're at 90% now. Take this just a little bit faster there. There we go. Eh. Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. going to do the same thing right here. Can I just go and just want to wipe this out right here. So we don't have to come back and do that again. Okay, I'm just gonna do a once around this tree. Because <clears throat> all we have to do is this. Should just be pretty much one strip down, and we are going to be finished. Okay, cutting is complete, and we are done. So 24 minutes, 25 seconds. So that's not too bad. And oh shoot, I forgot to. I was gonna hit the start button to see what the recommended time was again. What was it, like 30 something, 39 minutes or? I don't remember. <laughs> um, so we did get <laughs> a cutting time bonus. So we made 805 off of that and our employee made $517 off of that. Uh, so we are now up to, so we got a weekly profit um, oddly, it doesn't have the let's see here. So we have five thousand bucks. I want to see. Oh, we still don't have enough money to repay the loan. All right. So let's see. Orchard Cottage. Orchard Cottage. So there's one for 495 and then another one for 13. Um, okay, so I'm going to put my employee on that one. And then over here. I want to do this Orchard Cottage because I don't remember. I don't. I don't think I've done this one before at all. You have selected a vehicle that has a deck width above the recommended range for this contract. Completing the contract fully may not be possible. Um, well, I'm going to try it and we'll see, we'll see what happens. I think, I think we might uh, be able to pull this through. Let's see. I mean, I don't see any really tight spaces unless we have to fit the mower through that little arch right there. Then I might get shafted. Yeah, I don't 
think. Oh no, I have done this one before. Okay, I remember this one. I, th I think. So there's the or there's the orchard. We're gonna get to cut all that, and actually it makes like a. Oh wait, this is like a different orchard field. So there's that field, and then I don't know. Maybe there's one on the other side or something. So we've got four objects here, three, two, oh, huh, okay. One of the orchards kind of has like a, I don't, I don't want to say a dog leg in it, but it's not all the same width. Um, well, how did I miss that? Okay. So, let's see. Yes, I have cut that field. Maybe it's like on down at the other end or something. That's weird. Well, anyway. Hep, babe. Maybe it's on the other side? I don't know. That looks like a... Oh! Oh! Did I forget to... <gasps> I forgot to uh, do all the repairs and everything. See there it says change cutting blades, 50 pound. Yeah, I don't... Hopefully... Eh, no, the blades are in pretty good condition. Um, I just want to see if I can see over into that yard. Oh, that's the... That cottage across the street... That's the one from um, the very first job. Okay, anyway. <laughs> you guys are like, I don't care, Brad. Get going. Start cutting. And we need to go 5.5 to 6.5 centimeters. So 5.7 is going to be it. Okay, I am going to kind of come out here. I don't think we're going to have any problems at all cutting this lawn with this tractor. There might be one tight squeeze, but we'll, I'll, I'll, I don't know. We'll, well, maybe there's not. I kind of thought that corner that I just went through was going to be ultra tight, but it didn't seem to be. There's a nice little gazebo. I can't see. Probably like right in these little nooks and crannies is where it's... Uh, thinking that uh, we can't get through. And there were some more beehives back there, if you saw those. Um, uh -oh. See, like, this is a, the, the kind of area that you would want to have beehives in. <clears throat> near, you know, near an apple orchard. Where, you know, there's lots of crops and things like that. See, even there growing um, lettuce and carrots it looks like right there so not so much in the city but who am I to judge we need to you know we really need to do whatever we can for uh, for the you know honeybees because they're uh, losing their habitats all the time and they're very important to the survival of Humanity, really. Okay, so like right through here, instead of following all the little waves and curves, 
<clears throat> I'm just going to kind of try to take a straight line all the way across the back of the yard. I can't, I'm not for sure that I've done this one before. I really, like, I don't know. I just kind of, maybe it was the lighting or something. I don't know. It's going to slightly bug me because I can't, I honestly can't remember if I've done this, uh, this lawn before, this job or whatever you want to call it, this contract. grass yeah see like here the soil or the the grass seems like it's kind of wet maybe it's just it's kind of hazy looking today I think I'll just go back and forth, back and forth until um, this area is finished. bit of a hiccup there doesn't look like it was bad enough to have affected the cut though so that's good all right oh my gosh watch the flowers
we're going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to go around twice. Perfect. Phew. Like holding my breath doing that. <laughs> I I swear I had like my Xbox controller is like the most sensitive Xbox controller in the world. You can't even make fun of it. It'll start to cry. Yeah, I don't know if this mower is the best for for this lawn. It's it's okay, I guess. I wish I could actually watch my employee like mowing the lawn. That would be kind of a cool feature. Though I doubt it's something that they would, you know, put into the game. I would be shocked if they did actually. Um, I'm just going to go straight across here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Got to mow in there. Oh. Gosh, I thought I was going to take out half that flower bed just then. <laughs> that would have not been good. Oh. Okay, so I think now I'll just go back and forth down here. So we're 13 minutes and looks like 17 seconds in. And 33 minutes is the recommended finish time, so whoa.
It'll be interesting to look and see, but <clears throat> we might actually be, or we might actually end up be, being, sorry. What the heck, brain? <laughs> we might end up being close to uh, purchasing the next headquarters, like the, the up, you know, upgrade to the next headquarters. Not just upgrade our headquarters, but actually move to the next building with the three garages. So when I'm done with this, um, we're gonna we'll check that out. So that'd be pretty cool. Though it would kind of suck if, like, we defaulted on our loan or something. I don't know how that wor like works. Like, what happens if you don't have enough money to pay your loan? Okay. There we go. Oh, a little bit. All right. I feel like we kind of accomplished something in this episode. <laughs> Doo -doo. Like it's like cut so well you could putt on it. I wonder if we're gonna get like a golf course job. That would be cool. Okay, so we got five hundred and thirty bucks, three hundred ninety-seven. Let's see, new level unlocked, amateur challenge. Actually, I need to, I need to write that down because I need to figure out what that is. Um, I'm going to write that down. All right. Get my uh, piece of paper out here. Um, all right. So first thing I want to do is we're going to want to go in and uh, do all the maintenance. Whoops. So the value of this vehicle is eight thousand one hundred, and this one's twenty three eighty five. Um, Sixty one hundred dollars. Company values one hundred seventy one thousand. So if we go to purchase HQ, oh, we can. We can upgrade. So, okay, so if we do upgrade that, we're going to have a balance of $681. Which makes me a little bit nervous because I don't know exactly what day the loan payment comes out. Does it say here? Active loans. Just says weekly repayment, $1750. I kind of actually want to get up to ten thousand dollars or so and just repay that because yeah, that would be crazy if they really actually required us to pay back the seventeen fifty. Um, <clears throat> no, we'll keep on earning money because I, I was thinking if even if I do upgrade to a better um, headquarters. You know, it's going to be a while before I can even afford a new, you know, a second mower. Um, what jobs do we have available? So there's the cottage garden again. No, is that the, that's the one we just did. So there's the orchard, the, the orchard at the cottage. And then there's that Jefferson Gar. Oh, I don't like that one. I don't know why. 
<laughs> I don't know. All right, guys and gals, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, when we come back, um, we will continue on, you know, cutting grass and building our building up our lawnmower empire here. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing or how you are doing. Uh, what do you think of the game? And if you haven't subscribed, please consider uh, hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications uh, notifying you when I post new content, hit the bell icon. Uh, that'll help with that. <laughs> so, uh, Lawnmower Simulator, I'm Brad M73. Thanks again for watching, and bye for now.